Our mates at ComBank have been working absolute overtime during the pandemic, trying to make sure that businesses were able to find a way through, and because of their help, many have. <laughs> Small business, it's the backbone of the Australian economy, the engine room of Aussie innovation. An entrepreneur following a dream, parting ways with a big, safe company that you could always work for, to go off on your own path, to make your own dream come true. That is freedom Aussie style. I want you to meet Tara and Danny. We started our business few and far in September 2009. So just prior to that, we were actually working as graphic designers in the surf industry. And we actually traveled the world twice a year on buying trips. It was one particular store in Melrose in California where it was a giant showroom of one-of-a-kind pieces and the owner was sitting at the desk at the back of that store and he looked so relaxed and, in, and loving what he was doing and Danny looked at me and said, I want to be him. And that was when we decided to start our own furniture and homewares business. Now it may well be years before we know just how bad things got financially when it came to COVID. But one thing was painfully clear from the start of this damn pandemic. Small business hit a brick wall. Ongoing expenses with little or no revenue. The prospect that they may not be able to open their doors for months on end. It was daunting. It was painful. And for some, it was just impossible. And the past few years has been super challenging. I mean, we had bushfires uh, just, I mean, well, just coming on two years ago, I and mean, that pretty much destroyed our whole summer trade. Leading up to those bushfires, we, you know, we were growing business. We invested heavily in our ranges, and, and more than we'd ever done before. So the bushfires really crippled us, not being able to trade. Coming out of that, basically straight into COVID, um, and then having to adapt with COVID, um, it was it was super challenging. It's been a time when small business needed banks to step in and help to help their customers through their distress, to help them with their repayment deferrals, with loans, with mortgage restructures. This is the stuff that really matters, the stuff that helps a small business survive. And fortunately for Tara and Danny, they were able to find that help in the Commonwealth Bank. The CBA has been really supportive throughout this whole process. So we've had re a really great relationship with our business bank manager and we've been able to call her as regularly as we need to. Uh, they've offered us um, payment deferrals and holidays, so payment holidays. Even, even without us even asking. Um, yeah. I can remember being at home and, and getting a phone call and saying, this is what we're going to do. Mm. Um, we didn't even have to ask. It was, that was fantastic. You know, the support we got was, was great in a time when you're, you know, you're trying to adjust all your, you know, what needs to be paid and what doesn't and trying to work out how you're going to survive to have a bank manager or the bank ring you and go, hey, we're going to shut this off and we're going to do this for you. That Lower your interest rate and yeah. all of that. Yeah. And with lockdowns behind us, hope has now returned. Not just for people like Tara and Danny, but for people all over regional Australia. As travel restrictions start to disappear, our regional tourism stands to benefit. They need a rebound. There's a great deal of optimism as we're heading into the summer months. We're coming out of this prolonged COVID shutdown, and I think people are ready to get out and about and just return to some normalcy in life. And I'd like to think across the south coast we're very much open and, and waiting for these uh, restrictions that change on the 1st of November to see Greater Sydney and the rest of the state free to move around. And I think speaking to a lot of our accommodation providers down in this area, certainly forward bookings are really strong. So I would suspect we're in for a really bumper Christmas. So the next time you see a small business or pass by a corner store, pop in, say hello, maybe even buy something. Help small Aussie businesses get to the next chapter of a post COVID story, one that's better and brighter for all Australians.